Good morning. Today is Lou Gehrig Day. And in case you don't know who Lou Gehrig was, he was a famous, famous baseball player for the New York Yankees. Some considered him to be the greatest hitter of all time. He had a batting average of 340. Amazing. He also um, held the most consecutive games played streak uh, until 1995 when Cal Ripken Jr. Um, bested him in that. He played uh, 2,130 games consecutively and he didn't stop playing because he couldn't play in the next game. He actually benched himself um, because I think there was so much attention on him, he felt it was bad for the team. So he, um, he told the coach he was gonna bench himself for the good of the team. He was, a, he was a humble and dear man. So he's a very famous baseball player. But the other reason that Lou Gehrig is famous is because during his playing career, he was diagnosed with ALS. ALS is a fatal disease. Um, it's uh, short for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and it robs uh, the person of the ability to speak and to swallow and to walk. It is a very cruel disease. And so the other reason that I want to honor Lou Gehrig today, on Lou Gehrig's day, is because my mom died of ALS. She was optimistic and cheerful throughout her struggle. She was home here with, with me, with our family. Um, but the last year of her life was so difficult. And yet her spirits, she kept her spirits up. Um, and, you know, Lou Gehrig, in his very, very famous retirement speech from baseball, he was um, on the field at Yankee Stadium with a big microphone in front of him. And he said he was the luckiest man alive. And I think that my mom would have thought that she was one of the luckiest people alive too because even though she got a bad break, which is what Lou Gehrig said, he got a bad break. Um, she had a beautiful life and so many people that loved her. I wanted to show you this. At my mom's funeral service, we had a beautiful Catholic mass for her. We put in the pews these handouts that said, what I remember about Verna Bickett. And I just have, you know, over a hundred of these here, of uh, people pouring out their love for my mom and their appreciation for her life. And I know that many people, many people did that for Lou Gehrig as well. My mom was 83 when she died. And so to have the church filled to the brim with people honoring her, amazing, completely amazing. So we can all aspire to be people of such great worth and humility as Lou Gehrig and my mom. <laughs> I'm going to continue to fight for a cure for ALS, and I hope that you do too. 
I'll put a link in my blog for the ALS Association um, so that if you are, are able to or are interested, you can support those with ALS and support a, cu a cure in finding a cure for ALS. But today, I remember the life of Lou Gehrig and of Verna Bickett. And I feel blessed to be in a world where they both lived.